So I know it's getting quite boring with all these windows that I have to keep on doing but we've just got so many in the tower that need restoring and um, ready for winter. Obviously it's just a, a job that I have to do. Um, the next one I'm on to is this one at the side of the tower which you've probably seen quite a lot in the drone footage um, with the white plastic on. Now it's been probably one of the worst ones um, in regards to like the frame and stuff like that that I'm going to be tackling. The other ones have been quite bad um, with the window and stuff like that but this one the whole panelling right the way around for some reason has shifted forward. So I'm going to have to take all of the panel off on the inside here, off the top, take the window out and even the frame is coming loose as well. There's nothing really holding the frame left in. So I'm going to have to secure the whole lot um, on top of that, obviously all of the window, well, to be honest it hasn't even got a weather bar left on it, that's just completely gone, so I'm going to have to try and make a new weather bar, that's just completely rotted away, um, and then get started on restoring the window the same as the other ones I have. So I think this is going to be probably the worst one that I'm going to be tackling. Um, once this one's done, then the other one should be a piece of cake. So yeah, um, I think purely this one's just the worst one because it gets, this is the only one that's at the south. So this is fully south facing. Uh, no, it's not, it's west. So this gets all of the bad weather from the valley, comes all the way up and hits it on this side. And we've got no other ones on this side of the shower. So this one gets the brunt of it. And seeing the condition, you can see obviously that it's just worn it away so I'm gonna try and get the window out then I'll get the paneling out and then I'll just go from there and see what I can get done
So I've got all of the window stripped down now. Um, I've got all the old putty off and stuff like that. So the next stage is to get the what remains of the weather bar off. Um, I'll have to try and cut that off so I've got a nice flat base. I'll look at trying to make a new one. So I'll be able to cut some wood down um, and then put like a little rain channel on the bottom um, stuff like that. And then get stuck on and then I'll be able to start filling it and then later on I'll be able to start giving it a first coat of paint. But yeah, can't wait. I'll uh, get on with this now so I'll get the weather bar cut off and go from there. So as you all know and can see, Patrick's the boss around here. He likes to think he's the Lord of the Manor. Well, with the help of today's sponsor of today's video, Established Titles, he's now a Lord. How good is that? We've managed to make him a Lord. He's the Lord of the Chateau. They're absolutely superb and they're all about preserving the environment as well, which is why we love them. For every Lordship or Ladyship title that you buy, they'll plant a tree. And that means preserving the area in Scotland that they're looking after. It's just a magnificent thing to be a part of. Check out the link in the description today and I'm sure they've got sales on as we speak.
So as you can see, obviously the job that I'm on with at the moment is getting a lot worse. <laughs> and the more the panelling, obviously that had, I could see there was more damage with it. So I thought well, while I've got a couple of pieces off, I may as well take this other section off um, and like repair it as best as I can. Um, this is where a lot of the damage had happened when there was a roof in the leak at one point. So it came down here and obviously that's why all this wind is all misshaped and all of the panelling it all rotted and stuff like that. So the insert on this part, I had to do a bit of repair on that one. On the front one, I had to do some repair on the bottom one. And on the side one, I've had to do a repair on the top and bottom. So hopefully when it's all in and waxed, then you won't really notice it that much anyway. Um, and at least it's all like structurally okay again now because it was getting quite flimsy the panelling. So the next job, while I've got the panelling off, um, we're wanting quite a lot of wall lights here in the hallway. So I thought, well, while I've got it off, I may as well run the wiring for it and the conduit, um, and then it'll make it a little bit easier while it's off rather than trying to feed it behind the panelling. So I want to put two lights on this panel here. I've got one over there and then the same on the other side and then I'll have two on the back wall over here. So I've run the wire from there behind the panelling and up to here and then I need to go from that one to the next wall and then from that I need to go up into the ceiling and across over to the next fuse box which will be on that side. So uh, it's going to be another job of destruction um, so I'm going to take some of the trim off on the panelling and then hopefully I can try and hide it behind that and then put the trim back on and you won't notice any of it so this is like the most of the panelling I want to take off I don't really want to start taking any more off um, so I'll be able to go from that point to the next side of it and then take the trim off I'll be able to cut a groove behind the trim put the conduit up there and hopefully get into the ceiling and then across the ceiling and that way. So yeah, it's gonna look a lot messier in here um, and it's gonna get a lot worse before it starts getting better. But once I've got this side done, then I can start getting the panelling back on um, and getting it looking back to some sort of normality again. I'm still working on the glass, so the window won't be in just yet, but once that's in, then I can get that sorted and then it'll be all ticked off here. So yeah, so I'll crack on now with it. Like I said, I need to get the next hole drilled and cut the side of the panelling off, and then we'll go from there.
So that's it all sorted. Well, almost. I'm just waiting on the glass to come back from the uh, glass manufacturers. Obviously with it having the decorative shape on the top is one thing. And then as you can see, this one's um, like dropped quite a lot due to obviously the, the water damage that we used to have here um, before we got it. So it had been adjusted previously um, to, to fit the, the frame, but obviously with that, none of it's square, so I'm gonna to have to do a, a proper template for it, and then I think it has to get sent off to Paris um, to get cut to size and then come back. So in the meantime, I've just put some Perspex in for now, um, just so it's, it's obviously watertight and we can get a little bit more light back in here. Um, and all the panelling's back on, and it's all nice and sound and strong now, which is good, because this whole area was quite bad, obviously it was dead flimsy, there was loads of pieces rotten on it, um, and now it's just looking fantastic. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's turned out really well. So, the next couple of things that I need to do to get this finished will be to get the skating boards on, um, I need to speak to the carpenter to see if he can run us some of those up so they're all matching. Obviously get the glass in and then finish my electrics off. So I've got these two wall lights in and then I need to get the next one in and then work my way around. But that'll be a later date. Now I've got this all sorted, I'll be able to move on to sink else. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon with behind the scenes footage, updates, live chat and your very own piece of the chateau.